we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun Hello everyone, it's me Himanshu and welcome to Ramble and Curry. When you think about the most romantic cities in the world, Paris immediately comes to mind. It's no wonder that this place is a hub of tourism and millions of people come here to experience the culture and heritage of France and are swept off by the city of light. Watch this video till the end to experience this wonderful tour along with me and leave your thoughts in the comment section. So without further ado, let's get started. It's summertime in Paris, and the city is all shining beneath a prickle sun. A joyful young wind blowing, and is followed by the shower at the end. Oh, it's Paris, and Paris it is, which shows how falling in love is preserved and nourished, and the city admires and understands it. Paris, city and capital of France, situated in the north-central part of the country, occupies a central position in the rich agricultural region known as the Paris Plassein, and is constitute one of the eight departments of the Lille de France administrative region. It is by far the country's most important center of commerce and culture. For centuries, Paris has been one of the world's most important and attractive cities. It is appreciated for the opportunities it offers for business and commerce, for study, for culture and for entertainment. Its gastronomy, painting, literature and intellectual community especially enjoys an enviable reputation. The Louvre, or the Louvre Museum, is the world's most visited museum and a historic landmark in Paris. It is the home of some of the best-known work of art, including the Mona Lisa and the Venus de Milo. A central landmark of the city, it is located on the right bank of the Sheen River. The museum is housed in the Louvre Palace, originally built in the late 12th to 13th century under Philip II. There are plenty of good reasons to visit the Louvre. So many works of art to discover in this fabulous museum that used to be a palace. So plan your visit in advance to make the most out of it. If you are still with me, then kindly click on the subscribe button and show your support to the channel. You can also follow me on Instagram. And most importantly, leave your feedback in the comment section. The city knows how to have fun and it reflects when people are dancing in the street and the crowd was just having a good time watching the performance. Suddenly you feel that all the tiredness that you had has just come to an halt.
Created in 1633, the Paris Royal and its garden does a short work from the Louvre, housed royal families up until the Palace of Versailles was built. Prestigious and peaceful, the gardens are surrounded by super futuristic architecture and contemporary sculptures. The 260 black and white striped octagonal columns are definitely worth a visit and are one of the symbols of Paris. Arc de Triomphe is one of the most famous monuments in Paris. The location of the Arc and the Plaza is shared between three arrondissements, the 16th, 17th and the 8th. The Arc honors those who fought and died for France in the French Revolutionary and Napoleonic War, with the names of all the French victorious and generals inscribed on its inner and outer surface. Beneath its wall lies the tomb of the unknown soldiers from World War I. The Eiffel Tower is one of the world's most recognizable landmarks. The tower was designed as the centerpiece of the 1889 World's Fair in Paris and was meant to commemorate the centennial of the French Revolution and show off France's modern mechanical power on the world stage. Since opening in 1889, the tower has welcomed over 300 million people. The tower is 330 meters tall, about the same height as an 81-story building, and the tallest structure in Paris. Its base is square, measuring 125 meters on each side. During its construction, the Eiffel Tower suppressed the Washington Monument to become the tallest man-made structure in the world, a title it held for 41 years until the Chrysler Building in New York City was finished in 1930. The day ended by having an ice-cold Pironi to complement the French cuisine, which consists of truffle risotto and truffle pasta.